Hi guys, as we all know, sometimes the white shark cannot help to analyze some issues deeply. Then how can we analyze those issues? Are there other logs or tools that can be used for analyzing the problems? In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Notepad++ to analyze the Yearstar PBS log. First of all, let me make a short introduction on how to capture the log on Yearstar PBS. Go to the PBS web interface. Navigate Maintenance. Find System Logs. Click on Log Level. Enable the information and the debug. When you get SIP related issues, such as SIP call established failed, SIP call disconnect, and SIP registration failed, and so on, please enable SIP debug. Then leave the IP blank. That means no IP address limit. Then click on Save and apply, then just duplicate the issues and download the log. Then extract the log and find the file pbslog.0 and pbslog.1. pbslog.0 is the latest log. Then you can open the pbslog.0 with Notepad++. Here I list several common expressions to filter the log so that we can find the particular messages that we want faster and convenient. We can use the keyboard shortcut, Ctrl F, and we will get the find window. Then we can use find future to search for the information that we want. For example, we are going to find all of the SIP registrations. We can input regist SIP. Then click on Find All in Current Document. Then we will see all of the SIP registrations, including the SIP regist sent from the IP form and the PBS. And we can highlight it. If we want to compare the difference between two rocks, we can move it to our view. And we can go to view and select synchronize vertical scrolling. When we scroll up or down, both view will synchronize. If we want to find a call, we can use the keyword in white SIP. Then we can locate the call fastly. Each SIP dialog has a unique identification. We can use the call ID as a filter to find the SIP message belonging to the same dialog or registration. As we all know, Wireshark cannot analyze the TRS log directly, but with Notepad++, we can do it. Just use TRS as a filter. Then we can find all of the TRS message quickly. Let's go to the FAQ part. Here, I will show you five samples. First one, IP restriction caused SIP extension register failed. When we get the log, we can use filter register SIP to find the extension registration and highlight the register SIP and call ID. Then use call ID as a filter to find a SIP message belonging to the same registration.
and we can see the IP form sent the chip register to the PBS, but the PBS didn't reply. And we can check the message between two SIP registers. Here we can see the warning, request IP not in the extensions permit IP list. Then we need to check and configure the extension IP restriction directly. Transport type inconsistent caused SIP extension register failed. We can use the filter Regist SIP. And highlight the Regist SIP and the call ID. Then use call ID as a filter. And you can see the warning between two registers. Register transport as UDP, but config transport as TRS, which means the extension transport type is set to TRS, but an IP form register transport is still UDP. Then we need to make transport type consistent, and we need to set the IP form transport to TRS. Trusted certificates caused SIP extension register failed. After setting the IP form transport to TRS, you might still get unregistered. We can check the log to see if it has this warning. Since the IP form doesn't have the PBS certificate, then we need to disable only accepted trusted certificates on the IP form, or import PBS certificate to solve this issue. Outbound call failed because of no outbound loot. When IP form dials an external number, but gets no formed prompt, then we can check the log using in white sleep as a filter. And using core ID as a filter. You can see the IP form sent in white, but PBS replied with 404 not formed. Scroll up, we can see in the message. The call was rejected because extension not found in contact diaphragm. Then we can check the PBS outbound route and config a correct outbound route for extensions. Outgoing call failed because of the long outbound caller ID and name. You may get no found prompt on the IP form when making an outbound call through the SIP trunk. Then we can check the log using invite SIP as a filter. And find the call then highlight the call ID and use it as a filter. Then you can see PBS sent in white to the SIP provider. But the SIP provider replied with 404 no font to the PBS. Scroll up. We can find it called to the external number through the SIP trunk. That means outbound route without any problem. Then we can check the white event. And we find the PBS send an extension number 
and a name as an outbound caller number and a name. Basically, it should be in a ship trunk caller number and name. Then we should go to the PBS and find the ship trunk and config an outbound caller ID and name as the ship trunk number and name. And select the extensions. Then click Save and apply. All right, this is what we have in this video. Thank you.